them driving around all the time. These big trucks, they're out of the highways. They're carrying things like food, logs, livestock, you name it. Well, now Georgia businesses who rely on trucking, they want the state to raise the weight limit on how much they can carry. Right now, the weight limit in Georgia, 80,000 pounds. New legislation would increase that to almost 90,000 pounds. But as Atlanta News First reporter Abby Kasouris finds, heavier trucks could put more drivers at risk. This issue has people passionate on both sides as people are bailing out of the agriculture and forestry industry because it's hard to find drivers and the cost of doing business is just too high. While people who have lost loved ones to trucking accidents say it's not worth the cost of doing business. Lumber. That's the business Jonathan Parker is in. We're just finding an exodus in this business. His trucks can carry 80,000 pounds of lumber in Georgia. In Florida, Alabama, and Tennessee, trucks can carry 88,000 pounds. Parker says this sets them at a disadvantage when doing business across state lines. You have no choice if the economics say you've got to cut a corner. Okay, so you say, well, what can I do? Do I hire a less qualified driver? Do I get buy a truck that does not have this safety equipment on it, this old and has maintenance problems? To get the logs to the mill, his trucks are equipped with these new artificial intelligence cameras that his manager, Jonathan Wainwright, monitors. If he's speeding, if he even swerves from lane to lane too much, it sends me an alert. Steve Owings of Road Safe America says it's physics. The more weight on a truck, the faster it will go downhill. This bill is literally like saying, let's let the biggest, by far the most dangerous vehicles on the road drive a little bit faster than all the other vehicles. He's pushing for more truck safety after losing his son in a crash with a tractor trailer. My life and that of every surviving member of my family has never been the same since that tragic day. I don't want to see that happen to other Georgia families. Georgia is ranked fourth in the nation for crashes involving trucks, and the Georgia Department of Transportation says bigger trucks will cost the state millions of dollars in road repairs. This bill passed in the House, but just barely, and now faces another vote in the Senate. In Fairburn, I'm Abby Kasouris.